Hey, what is up? Today's video is going to be on my favorite companies of 2022. I know you you know you seen the thumbnail. That's probably why you clicked on it. Or you're just looking for some cool recommendations on some new companies to try. Either way, we're going to get down to it. I'll try to keep it to a minimum. We're not really going to get into scent profiles and pricing and all that. I'm just going to go over my favorite companies and highlight some of the products that they make. I got like 15 companies to go over. So uh, I guess I guess we should just get into it. Before we get into my favorite companies of 2022, I would like to take this opportunity to thank today's sponsor, GeoGrit. GeoGrit is the new hot minimalist wallet front pocket that I can't live without. Like for me, made in the USA, 6061 aluminum, sturdy construction, lifetime warranty, but at the same time, it fits so nice in your pocket, you can barely tell it's there. Those days of sitting on those old leather wallets in your back pocket, stop it. You're just, you're, you're killing your back for no reason. Grab a front pocket wallet. This holds up to 12 cards. It also has a money clip on the back. My favorite is it's got the ergonomic design. We're used to our thumbs pushing up, like just like we do with our smartphones. So this is the concrete gray, but what they do have the blue collar guys in mind, they have that in carbon fiber, coal black, steel gray, concrete gray, field green, brick red, and denim blue. So they have a multitude of color choices for you. So you open the box, well, there you go. There's your wallet. It does come with you, you know, a few cards. You got you know, your info card tells you about the lifetime guarantee. Should anything go wrong with the wallet, which I've had mine for a while now, and it's not had any problems. Like I said, I love the way it feels in the pocket. I almost had to check when I first started carrying them. Like, man, it doesn't feel like my wallet's there. Uh, either way, I'm going to be giving away a concrete gray GeoGrit wallet. So all you need to do to enter the giveaway is drop a comment below. Tell me what kind of wallet you have in your pocket right now. If it's still the old leather wallet, it's cool. Just drop the comment and uh, I will pick a winner from the description below. So I will also link GeoGrit's website in the description below. So go check them out. Instagram, Facebook, the website. Tell them Daniel the Bearded sent you. So first up, we're going to be talking about my favorite new company of 2022, the Johnny Rayco. So, as I said, we're not getting into scents. Johnny Ray's great, great carrier blend. There's some exotics in there, but there's also some well-known proven ingredients. So, check out Johnny Ray. It's, I mean, just, they came out of the gate swinging. Uh, Nate and Hannah are doing some great stuff over there. So, go check them out. Next up, we have Jay's Beard Essentials. You know, I've been rocking with Jay's for a while now. The the blends, you know, he has the bird blends. He has the regular blend. He does regular drops. So if there's not anything you want to see on the website or that you don't see on the website, hit Jay up on Instagram. He could do some custom work for you. Always down to talk. The butter has just, he's constantly evolving the butter and super, super smooth. The scents are always strong. Can't really go wrong with Jay's Beard Essentials. Next up. Black Rebel Beard Co. Yep. Pedro made a slight change in the carrier blend. It now works a lot better for my beard. I don't know the, you know, the the ratio changes, but now I can wear it more than one or one or two days in a row. And it's not really weighing heavy on the beard. It's got a lighter feel to it. Really, really underrated is the wash. The wash is just it's not a true daily uh, for me. I use it, you know, two, three times a week and it's fine. It does have that slight strip feel, but all in all, pretty good product. Black Herbal Beard Co. Go check them out. Always got something new every, uh, the first of every month. Next up, 8-Bit Beard Co. 8-Bit, love the theme, love the family atmosphere. Uh, he literally has some of the most unique scents on the market. I mean, blackberry and oud. He's got you know a bubble gum. He's got a um, uh, new hammered bro that's coming out again this month here in the next week or so. It's 
apple and whiskey and just and it smells really really good for me it smells like like an apple cider but um tons of different stuff he's got candles he's got soaps go check out 8-bit beer co tell sean i said what's up next up had almost like a, a slight rebrand going on over at defined beard co this is around the fur love that scent it's like my favorite scent from them um carrie is another one of those that has pretty much a scent for everybody uh, he doesn't do like your run of the mill since he comes up with scents that almost have like a vibe to him. And that's what I love about the company. I've been rocking with uh, Define for a long time and I really, really enjoy the products. Butter's underrated. He's got a new wash that just you need to try. Uh, next up, Fetty Says. Fetty Says, um, I got into them, you know, I got into that, their products pretty heavy this year. Uh, great, great all around company. The trick, the twist to it all is each new drop has like a different carrier blend. So, you know, you get that, um, cross training for your beard, your beard doesn't get used to it. If you, you know, just use strictly Fetty says you're going to get different carrier blends. I uh, love what Fetty's doing. He's coming up with new scents, original scents. So keep it up Fetty. Next up the Ood King the the man the myth the legend scott over at taylor beard co um drops every week he also has a cologne line as well where you can get your favorite colognes in a beard oil check them out underrated butter i have an unscented and i think he called it the stealth butter great great just it's almost truly unscented there's a slight butter scent but it's it's a really good butter go check it out next up Alley Cat Beard Co. Alley Cat, they do have CBD options as well. So check out, you know, I think you can get to it from the website. But Alley Cat really just came out of the gate swinging. Gary's no, you know, he's no rookie. He knows what he's doing. G Lou. Um, love the filling beard. The butter is, oh man, it's, it's probably one of the best I've ever used. Uh, if you're a butter person, definitely, definitely a really nice conditioning butter feels good in the beard feels light in the beard going to give you that uh that nourishment that your beard needs but don't sleep on the oil and don't sleep on the cbd as well also drift wash his drift wash is a true daily can be used every day i did until the the bottle ran out like i, I need to get more but great products over at alley cat so go check them out next up one of my most underrated companies that I think everybody should try, and that is Bay Area Beard Co. Matt, he's my doppelganger, so they say. Uh, Matt makes some of the most creative scents on the market. He doesn't just take a tobacco oud or you know um, a strawberry, whatever. It's it's strawberry flambe. It's um, chocolate chip cookie like he takes some of the craziest scents uh, like another company we'll be talking about here in a minute puts them together and just makes great great just creative scents that you won't get everywhere intermission time so next up the jolly old fat man himself this right here unreleased right now will be released soon if not january this is the exotic blend this is thick this oil is super super thick but man is it nourishing like the skin just loves it the beard hair loves it you don't even really need a butter and he has another one of those top three butters that i'll keep in my rotation for a while like all these these companies are what stay in my consistent rotation when i'm not testing other products check out jolly old fat man he does have really good butter it's called dirty snow so check it out it's not your typical butters so i suggest checking out jolly old fat man next up a newcomer but man he packs a knockout florida boys grooming uh this is owned by matt hill out of florida uh every cologne scent you can think of and he also has a matching spray cologne if he doesn't have it, he can get it, and he will make you a crazy, crazy blend. Feels great in beard. Like, when I got it, I was like, man, I don't know. 
But then I put it in beer, and I was like, damn, like, out the gate, knockout. Um, congrats, Matt. You, you, you put out a stellar, stellar product. Next up, Anointed Beard Oil Co. Juan, fellow Hoosier here in Indiana, um, consistent evolution. Juan has just took his his products and built them, and his scents are not uh, are not just run of the mill scents. They're they're built from a vision that he has. You know what I mean? He looks at it and he's like, ah, this is what I want people to feel, to smell. Puts it in bottle. Check out Anointed Beard Oil Co has a little bit of something for everybody like his butter super smooth as well all in all great products so go check them out another newcomer excuse me valhalla beard and body this scent when i found out he smokes his uh sweet almond oil man crazy good scents makes every kind of scented soap you could possibly think of like tim over there he's just yeah he's got all the soap you can handle he's consistently another company that's new but uh evolving really fast so go check out valhalla i don't think you'll be disappointed especially for the price like 10 bucks so go check them out next up we got t3 beard co Another one of those creative um, scent makers, a uh, little bit of cologne, a little bit of uh, uh, orange cream sickle. Like, dude can put stuff together. Troy over there, he's another one of those that can just mix some scents. And uh, he's pretty consistent on his drops weekly, bi weekly. Um, he's got some fan favorites that he brings back for seasonals. Um, liquid butter, you should try. <clears throat> Excuse me, T3. Hanyager, one of my all-time tried and true. This scent, of course, Avenue Blue, which is about gone. I'll have to grab more. Hanyager Beard Co., solid, solid company, top to bottom. Uh, Adam, is not a, the owner, is not as active as he once was. Uh, he has went back to work full-time. But still, the products that he puts out, you, you get some Hanyager in your beard, and you're like, damn, I have slept on this company. I need more. And then you're like me and you end up with everything that they have, their whole catalog. And then you try to find stuff that you can't get anymore. Uh, Han Yocker Beard Co., just fellow Midwesterner, just putting out scents that, that give you a memory. You can, like for me, I open this up and it's just like dad, grandpa taking me to get my first haircut. Like it's just... Man, it's another one of those companies that just give you a vibe every time you open the bottle. Next up, Weatherbeard. This is their Happy Camper anniversary scent. Weatherbeard uh, rebranded, did their whole, um, changed their oil blend, and I slept on it, not going to lie. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I've had the old stuff. Uh, it didn't work as well as I wanted it. I slept on it, and Corey and Hannah over there, they are just – very consistent with with their transparency and what they're doing and what they're trying to do and I'm knocking stuff over and yeah but weatherbeard you can't go wrong with it they they're going to be making some changes in the new year uh Corey I believe they're releasing a new scent with Dan C check out weatherbeard very very solid option last but definitely not least the bearded back the Bearded Mac earlier this year acquired whiskey and hardtack. So with that, they brought some of the scents, some of the products. Whiskey or Bearded Mac has the best stripping wash, hands down, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't get any better. When I strip my beard, that's the products I use every time. Um, they brought in some of whiskey and hardtack's older or scents, and for me, made them better. Uh, I don't know if it's the blend or you know, whatnot, but the scents pop more for me. They also brought in the dehydrated wash puck, the beard wash puck, just like a bottle of stuff, but they took the liquid out of it. It's a solid, as long as you keep it dry, it will last a long time. Um, they also have a true daily wash that I've used daily until the bottle was gone. Uh, the blend works really, really well for me. Try the Beard Mac if you haven't already. I know a lot of you have. 
like I said, that's that's going to do it for my favorite companies. Um, don't forget to give away. Drop a comment. Let me know what type of wallet you are carrying in your pocket, front or back, right now. Um, just a little, uh, a little bit of a mini rant here. Uh, guys, I do have a little bit of transparency at the bottom of the beard. And that may be why I wear black, but I wear I was wearing black before I grew a beard. Um, rock what you got. Be proud of it. That's why we grow these beards. It helps with confidence. It helps helps bring out the true version of ourself. This is going to be the last video that I make for other beard products. Um, February 1st, 2023, I will be releasing my products, my beard product line, my apparel line. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Follow me on Instagram and here on YouTube so you stay updated on when everything is, what it is, what it's going to smell like. Yeah, I'm rambling. Uh, like I said, last video. So don't forget to drop that comment. Uh, subscribe if you want. I do appreciate it. So 